Good morning, 6.30, day three. So pretty good last night. I'm a side sleeper, so these sleeping pads can be a little uncomfortable. So I may look into getting one that's specifically made for side sleepers. I've been using my sleeping bag kind of like a quilt. It hasn't been super cold at night, so doing it that way keeps me from roasting like a hot dog inside this thing. Other than that, I'm getting ready to get up, get things packed away, make breakfast, and start the day. My face was pretty red yesterday. I put some lotion on it before I went to bed. It looks like it did a lot of good. As much good as you can do this thing, but yeah. made it across Keck Lake. We're at the Portage now. Paddled for about an hour and a half. Um, or no, an hour, I'm sorry. We did go into a bit of a headwind this morning, so that slowed us down a little bit, but overall made some pretty good progress. I did make a slight wrong turn back at a point. Um, I was further than what I thought I was looking at the map. So got a short portage here now just over into the ponds and then go through all those portages again. This one isn't bad. The next one's really steep. Um, and I think the one after that is as well. So that's the one, one of those is the one that I fell on yesterday. Overall, really happy with the canoe, how well it's doing. I'm loading it just right, it seems like, and it's tracking well, no complaints. Ooh, this is the yoke system that came with the kayak. That's how I carry it. it. Straps to the seat. And then these pads here go on my shoulders. And away we go.
the bad portage. The worst part is getting down that just steep rock. But I came up it yesterday without incident. Hopefully going down is just as good. We'll see. Sweet. 
All right, so uh, two down, three to go to get out of the ponds, and then one portage on Eddy Lake to get around the falls into the south arm of Knife Lake. It's pretty quiet out here. Other than the, the sounds of nature, the only thing that interrupts that is a paddle stroke in your own mind. much better spirits today than I was yesterday. Yesterday I was feeling pretty lonely. But today, I don't know, new start, new day, new me, I guess. It did help to get a couple messages from my son. Make sure everything was going okay back home with him and the dog. Other than that, it's been pretty quiet. I have seen a few people out here. Um, not a whole lot. I've only seen one other person solo this whole trip. And most of the people that I've talked to and they're like, oh, you're solo. They seem pretty surprised. I guess it can be a fairly big feat. Finished third portage. Uh, this next one, just a short five rod up and over, if I'm not mistaken. And I remember it being super slick last time. Here we go. All right, here's the map. Started out this morning at this campsite here. Made our way along to the end of Kekaback Lake. Made it through the ponds. And now we are at our last portage here at the end of it into Eddy Lake. And then from Eddy Lake, we're gonna go around to a 25 yard portage around Eddy Falls into the South Arm and Knife Lake. And then we're gonna head west out towards Thunder Point. I don't know if we'll make it all the way out to Thunder Point. It's on the other side of the map, but there's a campsite there that hopefully if we make it that far, I'll camp there. Otherwise we'll camp at some of these other campsites that are on here all the campsites are these orange dots so we'll see how we go i know a lot of you guys are gonna think i'm crazy i haven't done much fishing out here but i think we're gonna change that today Oh well, we're almost to the portage. It's just on the other side of the lake here, so we're gonna head that way. Get over the falls. All 
All right, so the GoPro was acting a fool there for the first time. Um, I just got to the end of the portage around Eddy Falls with uh, one of my packs, the fishing pole paddle. Um, so I'm heading back up now. It's not too bad, it is all downhill. I'm glad I'm coming down and not having the portage up, but the multiple trips makes it a little tough, but not too bad. Eddie Falls behind me. Pretty cool. That's what we're going around. Man, that was cool. Back on the Portage Trail now. I think there's a little trail up here so you can see the top side of the falls. We'll go check that out. Battery's about to die. Just got the blue food barrel. Heading back down to the end of the portage. And then I'll probably stop and get some food. Feeling kind of hungry for a change or something a little more than just a snack. So we'll get that and get everything packed back up and get back out on the water. All right, setting out on a new lake. We're on the south arm of Knife Lake. It's another big lake. Um, looks like wind is not going to be to our favor again but you know as brandon says got to get going to get there so let's get going Alright, little update. It's 
So my original plan was to hit further west on South Arm and Knife Lake. I got up around Thunder Point and started having pain in my left shoulder and hurts the paddle on that side. And right now my fingers and my left hand are going numb. I don't know if it's just an overuse thing, but, but I decided instead of traveling further in, I would start making my way out. And today's Monday, but Wednesday and Thursday, they're calling for some heavy winds, high winds, and some rain to move in. So I'm gonna get them inbound somewhere. Bump show. So I think this is probably the safest and best idea. I could paddle all the way back to the outfitters, depending on the weather, but I may just hold up at the campsite for a couple days, rest the shoulder, see what it does. Um, my, my goal right now is to get to Knife Lake on the western end, northwest end. Um, I think I can get pretty close to that tonight. Today it's only three o'clock, so two hours. If I can go that long, um, shouldn't be too bad. But we'll see. We'll keep you updated along the way. close attention when you're out here. I should have known better, but I knew where I was going. And I looked at the map, and I went right past that little entrance right there. All was well, 437. Still plenty of daylight left to make up lost time, as long as my shoulder holds out. It is burning. All right, folks, so I got to camp, got my tent set up, just eating some snacks. I'm not gonna cook anything. I'm super tired, my shoulder hurts. Um, the last portage to get over to Otter Track Lake, uh, my whole hand went numb. So I think I made the right decision to cut this trip a little bit short, even though it's definitely not what I wanted to do, but it'll be for the best. Um, got in touch with my folks they're helping with getting in contact with the outfitter to get the toll scheduled earlier i think i can make it there tomorrow around three it's only a little over nine miles so it, i mean as long as everything goes well I should be able to make it all right um there is one big portage it may take a little while to get through but you know we'll we'll get through it can't even hold the GoPro with my left hand. But anyway, I'm beat. I'm gonna finish these snacks. I'm gonna drink, pound some water. And I'm gonna crawl in bed and go to sleep. See y'all in the morning. Good morning. It's day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Day four, just saw an eagle fly by with a fish. That was pretty cool. Um, didn't sleep very well last night. Got everything packed up. I'm tired, getting ready to Hit the water, yeah, see how it goes.
is nasty. It's gonna be rough. There's a group of guys at the end of here. They sounded like they were about whooped to just getting from shore up to where I dropped everything. It's swampy. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Yeah, I hear you. That first one and this one. Yeah. Coming through? No, it's just me. Just you? All right. Yes, sir. Watch that muck in there. Is it better to float across it or yeah, just I suck mean, it up and walk around it? Yeah, I, I just use your. You, yeah, I, I don't know if I'd walk around. You lose your balance. You got a tow rope, put your gear in it, and just pull it off. All right. Oh. I'll tell you what, if you got a rope real quick, I'll pull it by two loads of gear or something. Yeah, I got a. So that's the seals rock on the side, left side right there. Yes, sir. Stay right, straight towards that. Not much in that's here. Dirty. Don't go over there. Nah. You stay right in there. You can use that canoe right you up there. You got room for your uh, rope back? And, uh, uh, and then, of course, stay on that side up there. If you get off on that side, one boot's already been sucked off. Still on this board? No, I was over on Beck Ponds, over on the other side of South Armour Knife Lake. It was like 18 miles, 18 and a half miles yesterday. It was a little rough. You've been paddling one arm, I mean, one side. Yeah, you? I was gonna try and suck it up, and my fingers and hands started going down. I was like, nah, I better get out of here. Yeah, yeah you don't push it beyond the limit. That's yeah, sure. we're gonna try and make it to American Point for free. I think I'll be all right. I wish you could take some of your load off by taking some of that food, but yeah, man, it's all right. I could have got that. Yeah. I told you it was heavy. <laughs> that was pretty, it feels like one of those. So, let me show you. Uh, so what you want to do when you walk is you want to stay inside this log and then just yes, see those no. rocks right there. You want to go straight for those rocks a little bit on that inside. And that's some solid ground. If you go over, you're in deep. Okay. On the other side of this log here, you're in deep. All righty. But I think you can, you can use this, this thing can be easy to flip up through this. So. Just like I just did right there a little bit. I appreciate it. Yeah, you guys do good luck fishing. Yeah, I think we do to get still fishing. I know, right?
Oh, that's what we made it through. Taking off from Pirate and Cordage. Those guys I met there were super nice and helpful. Helped me get some of the gear around it or into the canoe. Um, yeah, so. So we're back at it now. They offer told me if I needed to get rid of some of my supplies, my food and stuff, that I'm welcome to drop it off at their camp. We said there's two guys there, but and I made it this far and said, I think I'll be okay. I'm just going to keep on trucking. It made it sound like I would have a, the wind in my favor out on Sag Lake, so I'm hopeful for that. Because, man, paddling into a headwind it's quarter after 10 now. I think I should be able to make it just fine. Just got through a little, like, five yard portage. We're in Thursday Bay, I believe it is. Heading out to Sag Lake. It's a big lake. I think we will have a tailwind. Super excited about that. Pretty sure that's the folks that helped me on the portage, their camp that they were telling me about. They said it would look like the clampets. It ain't quite that bad. But they did say there would probably still be a fire going. By some chance you guys see this, I appreciate your help. Kind of advice and encouraging words. Made it to Sag Lake in the final stretch to American Point. We're getting there. Slow going, but we're getting there. It's 11.25 now, making 12.30, one o'clock at the latest. I'm starting to feel numbness all the way up to my shoulder now, so that's exciting. Just bearing through it. guys what a trip that was didn't quite go as i'd hoped it would but it was still a really great trip and you know you gotta take the good with the bad when you're out doing adventures like that i met a whole lot of nice people along the way on my way out at the long portage between water track and swamp lake you got the really long portage up and down hills along the international border there. And the group of guys that I met at the end of that portage were super awesome. They helped me get through the real swampy part. They showed me where to go. They were struggling through it when I made my first trip over there. They were losing shoes. They were sinking in up to their knees. And they showed me where to go so that I wouldn't have to deal with that. They helped me get my gear into my canoe while I was going through there. And they even offered to take some of my gear 
The group that I met was a group of four guys, and they were camping in Thursday Bay, just on the other side of Swamp Lake, and they had a couple guys there. I guess they lashed a couple canoes together, or maybe just towed them in with rope that were just full of gear, so they had a lot of stuff. One of them mentioned that they looked like the Clampets, and when I saw their camp, I couldn't agree more, but like any good Southerners, they showed me great hospitality. They offered, like I said, they offered to take some of my gear, just to help lighten my load to get through Sag Lake. I got really lucky again there. The winds weren't terrible. The closer I did get to American Point, the more my shoulder was given out and I was I was just wore out. And eventually the battery on the GoPro did die and I was just kind of over everything. I was frustrated because everything was ending early. I was frustrated because I was injured. But again, I made it out, obviously. At American Point, I did meet another group of nice people. The pickup is on the northeast side of the peninsula. I got around there, and as I was paddling in with one arm, they made a comment about the wind, and they asked if I was okay. I told them what happened. They came over. They helped me unload all my gear. They helped me get the canoe up on shore, and we hung out and talked for a while. They were super nice. They had been in for three days. When the tow came, they helped load everything up. I think the only thing that I carried was my camera gear in, in that Pelican case and they, they loaded everything else up for me. I really, really appreciated it. I did make it back to Kentucky Wednesday morning. Got my shoulder checked out. Everything looked okay on the x-rays. It said it more than likely was a severe sprain on my rotator cuff. For the most part, everything's feeling a lot better now. I do have a sharp pain every now and then if I move my arm in the wrong way or if I'm lifting something heavy with it. I notice it a lot, but other than that, it's not been too bad. I think it's on the mend. All in all, it was a great trip. I'd love to get back out there and do it again, do more fishing, stay longer, no injuries, hopefully. But I appreciate you guys watching this series. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit the like, be sure to leave comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See y'all later.